Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on negative indices. Following on from our earlier work on indices, we know that m to the power of 5 divided by m to the power of 2, we can write it this way, showing the division sign, and we saw that when we're dividing terms where the bases are the same, we subtract the indices. So 5 minus 2, that the ind index here is 5, that's a 2, so it's m to the 5 minus 2, which is m to the power of 3. It follows that if we have m squared over m to the power of 5, it's the same thing, m to the 2 minus 5. We know that 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So m squared over m to the power of 5 is m to the minus 3. If we look at it another way, that's this one here, we can write it this way. m squared is m times m, and m to the power of 5, we can write it that way. If we cancel out two of the m's from the numerator and two of the m's from the denominator, we have 1 over m to the power of 3. Because that's a 1. That's 1 up here. So that'll be 1 over m to the power of 3, which is m to the minus 3. Okay, so in general terms, that means it doesn't matter what letters we have or what numbers. If we have a to the minus b, that is any base to a negative power, that's 1 over the same base to a positive power. You just write it 1 over and you change the sign of the base. If we have a fraction to the power of minus 1, that's 1 over a over b, which is actually b over a. So that's just a basic introduction to negative indices. Now let's see some simple examples. Change the following to positive indices and simplify it where possible. m to the power of minus 4 is 1 over m to the 4. All you do is you go 1 over and you make that a positive. Of course it was a negative here, but when you do 1 over, that becomes positive. Same here, k to the power of negative 6 is 1 over k to the power of 6. So we can't do any simplification, so we just leave it like that. 3 to the power of minus 2, or negative 2, is 1 over 3 to the power of 2. We can simplify this, although that's a positive index, we can simplify it because 3 squared is 9, so we have 1 over 9. 5 to the negative 3 is 1 over 5 to the power of 3. And 5 to the power of 3 is 125, so we have 1 over 125. 2y to the power of minus 4. Now, the negative 4 here only applies to the y. So we have 2 over y to the power of 4. That's the answer. When you have brackets like this, the power, or the index, outside applies to both of the terms. So it's actually 1 over 4k all squared, which is 1 over 16k squared. 3 quarters to the power of minus 1. When you have a fraction to the power of minus 1, all you do is invert the fraction. It's just the reciprocal of the fraction, that's all it is. So 4 over 3 is 1 and a third. And 4 times 3 to the minus 2, that index just refers to the 3, so that's really 4 over 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so that gives you 4 over 9. So this video has introduced us to the basic idea of negative powers, and we've seen how to change negative powers or indices to positive powers or indices. And in some cases, when numbers are involved, you can actually do a simplification.